Hello, design champs. Happy to see you again. Sorry I was gone for two days. I was sleeping. <laughs> no, no, I had projects to do. Also, if you're new here, pleased to make your acquaintance. My name is Russell Crowe, famous gladiator. I won my freedom. Let's get started. Welcome back to Design Chicken Chicken. This is week, well, I mean, it's like week number two. Last time, Joey and Andy went up against each other for a a design weekend course flyer, and Andy uh, proved out to be the winner. So now, Andy is not only the space asteroid, but he is the chicken king. How long will his reign last? Find out now. This time, we made some adjustments from last time. So this time, I'm telling them beforehand what they'll be uh, uh, evaluated on. So those are the four things, four criteriums at the bottom. And this idea was brought to us by Gabba McKeever. Thank you very much, Gabba. Now, some of these are pretty good. Okay, so let's make an official introduction of today's chickens. First off, the reigning king chicken, Andy, the space asteroid, Barnard. Taking on today's new challenger, Dom, the movie star, O'Halloran, yeah! making his debut in the t in the chicken dance. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I think it's appropriate since Dom is the challenger that we commence with his first. So let's get going. Dom is starting an illustrator. Okay, so far we have some fun gradients inside of a circle. We'll see where that goes. All right, yeah, and also, you guys try to figure out what, what superhero this is. I mean, I'll figure it out. I, I kind of, I already know based on like the names of the files, so I, I have an unfair advantage. But uh, yeah, see if you can figure it out how fast. Okay, we're definitely making a heart. Guys, I've never seen a heart made that way. That is genius. You make two rectangles with rounded tops and then you cut off the bottom. That was so smart. Oh, I'm gonna use that, I'm gonna use that method. Thank you, Tom, that's great. Yeah. So part of this prompt was that they need to, um, the superhero has to have like some sort of service that they offer <laughs> that, that'll, that'll just add a little bit more uh, challenge to the creativity aspect of it, which is one of the things that they will be judged upon. Oh, this looks like, um, yeah, what do you call it? Stethoscope. Last time I saw a doctor, it's a long time ago. Wow. Okay. So I think this is the logo. Maybe pretty completed now. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure these are the eyes of, at this point, I, I, I'm gonna say, even if you don't know who it is, it's Baymax. Baymax from uh, Big Hero, is that what it's called? Correct me if I'm wrong, please. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So Dom's making, made kind of a, a pattern with the eyes, that's clever. This, um, the lines that go like that, and then down and then across, classic kind of what do you call that maybe sci-fi technological you see that in a lot of game ui that's like futuristic so that's pretty cool <laughs> 1 800 blah 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 <laughs> imagine imagine you could get that as your phone number that'd be so cool <laughs> checkups hugs fist bumps <laughs> how much how much does one pay for a fist bump, do you think? That could be that could be our new career, design champs. We could just be fist bumpers from now on. <laughs> no, I read something that was hilarious. It was like some girl's most embarrassing moment. She was at work and a guy tried to fist bump her and instead she thought he was holding a, an invisible microphone so she put her mouth and she just said, hello? <laughs> I thought that was funny. Uh, 
Okay. Checkups, fist bumps, hugs. Oh uh, yeah, the the little circle at the end of the lines is also a very classic sci-fi or technological thing you can do. So I guess this is would be the front or possibly the back of the business card. Yeah. Right now our top line is a little too thick compared to our three below. But I guess that's intentional, so it separates kind of the header Baymax healthcare from the rest. This is nice. Whoa, what what do we have here? Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I get it. It's gonna be like a, maybe like like an SD card, basically, but not really like an SD card. Maybe like some form of something that you can put into something. Oh, this is oh, this is really interesting. Okay. Okay, a little bit of a gradient. Uh, interesting. Hey, yo, 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 he's doing the 3D extrude and bevel. Nice work. Okay, these are kind of thick. Thick boy! <laughs> we got some thick boy business cards. Or maybe they're they're stacked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like the whole angle idea. How the pattern is like the bottom right angle and then the lines go out to the same angle. That's a nice idea. I like that concept. Now we are, sir, oh hey, hey, that looks good. Now I see he added shadow from the, the boxes. Make it look a little bit more interesting. Baymax! Okay, that's it. So, this is our challenger, Dom's final work. This time we'll give both chickens like one to two sentences to say something about their design that maybe we missed or, or a little bit more insight. So, uh, Dom says this, my favorite superhero is Baymax from Big Hero 6. The design was inspired by the computer chip that powers Baymax in the movie. Ah, okay. It's all become very clear. Yeah, that, that would be something that I, I missed because I haven't seen it, but yeah, I, I get it. It's the computer chip. Very clever. So let's hop on our camels, cross the desert to the kingdom of Andy Barnard. Get it? Because he's the king. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see what he did. Okay. The speed for Andy might be a little bit faster because I think his original was longer. Again, I already know which superhero it is. So I think I already know what this is. <laughs> okay, now it's it now. I think it's a hammer. Interesting. Andy does this. He did. He uses um, a grid a lot. I have. I have a confession. I've actually never used the grid in Illustrator. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I should from now on when I need it. Okay, here's some other concepts, I think. This is good. So he made a couple versions of the hammer and now I think he's coming up with other things to do. So that, for example, is either a hammer or possibly the T for the thing. Okay, yeah, we fit the T into the hammer. That could work. Okay, yeah. Now that looks like um like a wing for Sheezy. Wait, 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 doesn't Thor. I feel like okay, let's find a good let's find a good font, Andy. Uh 
Uh, okay. I was worried about the thickness, but then when we found a different font, it seemed okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we could put the wing in the O. Hmm, so many things. Decisions, decisions. My ride is like precision collision. Shout out to Dr. Dre. Oh, that's interesting. You make the, the angle of the wing part of the R leg. Oh, that's clever. Oh yeah, okay, this is looking clean. Off to the left. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could integrate the text and the wing a little bit better if they go both go at the same angle. Look at that, look at that. Oh, okay, yeah, you could fit it in the bottom there. Make a little house for our font. Wow. What are we doing now? Separating out the font could help some, I guess. I don't know. I like the other version. I liked how the T and the H connected in the other version. But then the O and the R and the H connection might be good. Might be good. Oh, the edge of this couch was comfortable before. It's not so comfortable anymore. Oh, that's fine. We fight through the pain for the sake of the of the chickens. Yeah. I, I feel like this is maybe most solid, just having the, the wing on the left. But it could go either way. Hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, it seems like you, you you wanted to try something and then <laughs> and then you gave up on that idea. Okay, that's cool. All right, so now we are on to the business cards phase. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's a fun pinkish color. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm at a rave. Oh, oh. The little tweaks we go through, huh? Okay, Thor, Odinson. Electrician. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, okay. Got two wings above. It's nice. Okay. So I feel like the, the last one was one side of the business card and this will be the other side. Thor dash electrics.com Thor Electrics Asgardian Palace <laughs> I want to see what it says after Asgard ninth ninth what <laughs> ninth floor no, ninth realm oh okay that's probably that's cool uh huh it's funny they both have so far they both have this whole angle idea going on oh here's some icons there's a telephone, the place, the website, here's the email. It's fun. They both have angles, but their angles are opposite. Wow, the tension. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Look at this. This is looking clean. Oh, that's it. Okay, that's it. There's the front and back. So as for Andy's two cents about the project, he says, I decided to really try and hammer home. 
That's funny. <laughs> the retro future 80s feel to the design, especially to the logo, which is supposed to be one of the wings that Thor has on his helmet in the comics. Hmm. Okay. Cool beans. Okay, design champos, here are the designs next to each other. We will be voting in the categories of creativity, layout, typography, color, and logo. So, vote to your heart's content, and we will see who wins. Will Dom take down the King Chicken and start his legacy? Or will Andy? the current King Chicken Space Asteroid Barnard maintain his grasp over the chicken coop. <laughs> Vote and have your voice be heard in the realm of chickens. All right, booty bops. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Try to get out and do something. No, don't. Don't ever leave your house. All right, guys. I'll see you on Monday. Stay awesome possum. And I'll see you later, alligator. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.